What's up, my boys? Hey, we um, have lived in Portugal for a while now, three years, and um, we... Um... Has it been? It's been three years? That's insane, and we still don't speak Portuguese fluently. But we know the people pretty well, but you know them better. And that's why we asked on Instagram the other day. And you guys have been so good. We have received so many good answers. Some are a little conflicting, some very much agree with each other. And today we are collecting 38 of them. So we don't know all of them. Uh, a lot of these are new to us. For example, the first one, that Portuguese people, they like to study a lot of diff different languages. Yeah, in the beginning when I read it, I was like, I didn't know about this. But then when I thought about it, a lot of our Portuguese friends and the people we know, they speak English, they speak Portuguese, they speak French, they understand Spanish. Mm -hmm. And some even knows like a third language. I don't know if it's because Portuguese is close to Latin. Family is everything. Yes. I, I guess that applies to most people, but here it's a different kind of uh, love for family. It's the kind of uh, Southern European family love, you know? It's always Italy who runs away with the prize of the, the family thing. But I think that Portugal is actually all about family. And, and we have uh, seen this firsthand. Uh, they, they just, they can stand each other on a much higher level uh, as opposed to us in Denmark, where we are okay with seeing them a couple of times a year. <laughs> <laughs> but, well, I mean, not all of us. We but you're also from the one country, so maybe that's why you want And I do love my family. <laughs> but, I mean, we know friends that work together in the same restaurant with the family every single day. And when they're finally off, instead of going to do different things, they all meet up and eat a big family yeah. uh, dinner together. So I guess family is the key to a happy life in Portugal. So I didn't know this one, but... Um, when they invite you um, to their home for the first time, they give you a house tour that is as if they're trying to sell the home for you. <laughs> <laughs> I only think we have had like one in-depth house tour of our friend's house. Like we have some friends in Lisbon, they showed us their entire house. But that was mostly because they just moved in and it wasn't done yet. I mean, I don't know about this. I, I don't have any experience with, with it uh, to that extent, but, but let us know if, if this is correct, because we also know that Portuguese people, and this is not on the list, but Portuguese people, they love to have different opinions about things. So I'm sure <laughs> that a lot of you guys will be like, no, what are you talking about? That's completely wrong. So the Portuguese people, they are apparently willing to stand in line to Primark. <laughs> that is so freaking true, because I remember once we lived in Lisbon, and every time we went to Colombo shopping mall, there would always be a huge line in front of Primark. I guess it makes sense in general because I, like, if you go to Pengodosa, the supermarket, the lines are always a hundred meters long. Portugal is a jealous nation. And when I think about it, I, I don't know if I would use the word jealous, but if you think about how Portugal used to rule the world, mm. and now they don't, I understand I mean, if there is a little bit of a pity. But jealous, so jealous in what way? I mean, yeah, I I'd know. like. I, I'm not sure about this one, but I'd like to hear your thoughts. I don't really know. Maybe there is something with salaries that other countries, like Nordic countries, they have much higher salaries, and I don't know. Yeah, if that that's a jealousy that I think they are because entitled to. They can't to be jealous. Be they can't be jealous on the food. <laughs> Portuguese people, they hate being mistaken for Spanish. That is absolutely uh, correct. If you it, say gracias to a Portuguese person... They'll throw you out the, the window. Never try to speak Spanish when you come to Portugal. And I actually spoke quite well Spanish, but I had to unlearn it because immediately when I was trying to say something and my Spanish came forward, it would be like, oh, I don't speak Spanish here. So now I'm just, I don't speak any Portuguese and I don't speak any Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> when Portuguese people have a baby in Portugal, they uh, usually choose the first name of a list of available names. And that makes so much sense because all our friends is called Antonio. <laughs> Every We have so many friends who is called Antonio, Well, it's Rui, it, Paolo. Paolo. It, for us, it feels like we, there's 10 male names and 10 female names. But it's no amazing. No offense. <laughs> I really like that because 
like the chances of you remembering a name wrong is really small. Portuguese people loves to be nosy. I don't really agree with that one because I don't like in a gossipy way or what like what's going on with the neighbor or like that because I don't have any experience with that to be honest. I feel like they I feel like it's a quite opposite. If you were playing loud music, no one is going to ask you to turn it down or if your dogs are barking, no one is going to ask you to shut them up. Like people here seems to just mind their own business, I think. Yeah. This is a fun one because we have two that are quite contrast <laughs> uh, conflicting. Uh, so uh, we always eat with our forks and knives even if it's soft food. And then the next one. The next one is that we like to eat with our hands. I was thinking when I saw this uh, if it could be have something to do with the regions. Um, I don't know, but because in do, the north, do you see people like the Portuguese eating with hands? All I mean, seafood is consumed like this. Seafood, like shelves, meshuas, you know, all the dogs are in it. I think most food is eaten with knife and forks, if I had to be guessing. Yeah, but also you eat your pizza with oh. knife. Portuguese people um, can talk very bad about their own country, but foreigners are not allowed to. Yeah, there is no entitledness for a foreigner to come and pay in a picture of Portugal's mistakes. We already talked about this in a previous video yes. and there was a lot of controversy. Yeah, it's women have moustaches. And I actually checked up on one of the persons because I had a few of these and it was a Portuguese girl who said it to me. So them, it might be true, it might not be. I will say I don't see them. One thing that we know for sure is that Portuguese people are always late. Yep. Always. The, the majority of all the Portuguese people we have met, they were late. We are starting to be uh, late uh, when we have um, a, a social uh, date. Yeah, like but five, ten minutes is okay. It's actually good. But yeah, better. but Portuguese people, it's like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, it's not uncommon. So that is something you really have to, uh, to, to get familiar with when you move here uh, uh, for, as, a, as a newbie here. Yeah. You have dinner plans at eight, make it, make it nine. <laughs> so number 14, and this is one thing that blows my mind, is that Portuguese people, they, they seem immune to loud noises. Uh, and this is something we've also talked about in our videos, like for example, barking dogs and, and um, airplanes. airplanes, lawnmowers. For example, in Lisbon, where you have airplanes everywhere because the, the airport is so central. Uh, you can have airplanes coming in right above you every second minute, but it won't deduct for the value of, of the house, uh, which is just insane. Like in Denmark, that would be like, Nobody would, would live there, ever. <laughs> but uh, you're also extremely sen sensitive. I am sensitive. I mean, every time someone is doing garden work, you're just like, now we're I mean, at it again, and I, I don't mean, even the, pay attention. If the furniture so. are vibrating every second minute, I mean, everybody must be like, okay, this is this is <laughs> a bit level, next level. The way that they're so relaxed, that they, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter that there are 600 dogs in the neighborhood barking in one big symphony, but yeah. Uh, you know, I'm actually getting used to, to loud dogs all the time because I'm like... I'm well, like, we have no chance to not getting used to it where to, we live. We have to work with it. Now our neighbor's dog is on it again. I'm gonna kill that dog. When Portuguese people talk to each other, they are yelling. And they have to because there's so much noise around them. So it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they are very loud people, but I mean... It's I love that. It's because they're very passionate about what they talk about. Mainly food, but we'll get to that. Young people, they don't, oh, they usually don't move out until they get married, and that is for me in, in insane. I mean, me and my mother. I love my mother, but just staying home for a week, right? Like, I mean, it's we we, we just kill you each kill other. You kill each other, yeah. But and I also think there is a financial part of this. Pretend you love me. Pretend you love me, mom. It's a mild fantasy, hi. Because when salaries are low and it's expensive to get a, a mortgage to buy your own so it's, house. So it's not because they love their family. I think they love them, but I think it's partly also because okay. it's just expensive to move out. They always complain about the fact that there's not enough food on the table. Even though 
There tends to be more than enough food on even the if, table. Even if grandmother has been in the kitchen for the last five days. Um, but I mean, I didn't really know about this one. This no, is me like, um, yeah, I don't know. Is that true? I mean, I, they love food, but but but. I also know that they cook a lot when they get together or yeah. when they order food. I also noticed that when you are visiting a Portuguese family and you are dining with them, they tend to talk about food while they're eating the food. So they will talk about the next food to consume yeah. or, yeah. you know, they talk a lot what about they're food. they're having for dinner while they're eating lunch. <laughs> exactly. Portuguese people, they love their own food so much that uh, they celebrated the inauguration of the Don Vasco Bridge in Lisbon with feijada instead of lobster and caviar. <laughs> this was a fun one to yeah. take with, but I mean... And the fun thing is, once they actually opened up the bridge, they actually lined up the longest table setting in the world from one end of the bridge to another yeah. for everyone to come and eat the food. I was food. like 20 kilometers, how long is the bridge? Something like that, 15 kilometers? It's 20? pretty cool, it's a fun fact. I think we already included in another yeah. video. So let's continue. One thing we have noticed uh, is that Portuguese people, they never take off their shoes when they are inside. For example, if you have uh, plumbers, uh, carpenters, any workers coming in, they just barge in with big dirty boots and walk on our fluffy white blanket. <laughs> my mother, she always did this on me when I was a kid. She would do this on me until I removed my shoes if I tried to go back inside yeah. to get something. In Denmark, you do not do. Your parents are more are Actually, more in my house where I grew yeah, up, they're uh, super but relaxed. I hated it. I hated it always. Like, I don't, it's so disgusting. You walk around outside, you could step in, you know, whatever, uh, and then you just sit inside in, in your couch with your feet up. That is just nasty. I well, mean, we even clean our dog's feet every time we have taken her for a walk. <laughs> That's how... <laughs> Portuguese people, they love and treasure the pastel de nata, which is an amazing custard pastry that they have here in Portugal. But they never ever cook it at home. It's the fewest people who actually want to cook this at home because it's so it's difficult. difficult. We, you even tried it. It's not bad. <laughs> Thank you. Not a success, but I mean... I think I need professional help. I might actually get some. We should go and do, take a class so I and can... And we will. It's already planned. This one we know is a fact for sure. Portuguese people are football maniacs. Look at that It is, it is like the primary religion here, as, as I call it. Um, and we have been to so many f amazing football matches here. Whoops, I don't know why my camera is filming here. I have no idea it's doing it by itself. It's not me. It's, it's not me. I, I'm going to file a complaint for Apple. It keeps filming that way. It's insane, honestly. They love this. Portuguese people, they love to procrastinate. They have this saying here, if no one is dying, it, is, it isn't urgent. Yeah, I guess that is true, uh, because especially for us having lived now in three different um, apartments where we moved in as the first to ever live in it. I mean, this has been the best apartment we've had in terms By of far. getting everything fixed, but there's still like some things that haven't been fixed. Uh, but I mean, it's... For us, it, it, it really it hasn't been a problem. Um, oh, but what are you talking about? It has been a problem, okay. but not, not lately. And I think yeah. we just I learned... forgot it. My brain blocked it, out, blocked it out like PTSD. <laughs> I think we learned to be more relaxed as well. Here is one place where I think that I might actually be Portuguese. Because Portuguese people, they don't eat to live, they live to eat. Yeah. And I totally can relate to that. Yeah. It's one of the things that we um, have that we appreciate the most about living here in Portugal because that means also that the food you get here is amazing. Mm. It is also so underrated from an international perspective because you don't really see Portuguese food in Denmark, in Germany, in uh, I mean everywhere. It's 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 hard to come across. Another part of the culture that is related to food is something that I don't understand and that is that every time you're out with a Portuguese to have dinner or lunch they will end the meal with a bica 
A pica is a little espresso coffee, which means that there's a lot of caffeine in it. Yeah. So after a dinner, it's, mm, I don't know, 11 o'clock in the evening, they drink coffee. I know my parents actually uh, love to do that when they have guests over, but they don't do it when they are just finishing up a random Tuesday. No. Why do you drink ca caffeine before going to bed? Isn't that counterintuitive? I mean, don't you want to be tired for when you go to bed? Because if I take a coffee before going to bed, I will just be on the Forget phone for three it. hours. <laughs> uh, so maybe they're so tired that they needed to walk to bed. <laughs> <laughs> they always get together with families on Sundays. And that I know is a fact. Like yeah. all our Portuguese friends, except one couple, every Sunday they are with their family. Yeah. It's the big family day. And I love this tradition actually. I think it's a great tradition. Portuguese people are very blunt but in a good way. I, I really don't understand this one exactly, but I was a bit curious about it. I mean, do you think, is it like meant as a, the, a way that they love just going straight to the point and, and, and tell what they mean? I mean, they don't hold things together. They're honest about their opinions, if that's what it means. I mean, we get a lot of comments from you guys, so I guess it is true that but not always in a good way. <laughs> Portuguese people complain about everything, but without having a better solution. I would say this does not only go for Portuguese. This goes for like 80% of the humanity. humanity. That's just how humans are. I don't think they're worse than any other country I've ever been to. But again, you know, we like all of these points are also meant for discussion. So yeah. don't take all this as our opinion, but actually, actually we have you guys on Instagram. <laughs> this one was very interesting for me because Portuguese people don't get new friends. I think it meant like in the way that they stick with the friends they grew up with, which is actually also quite common in Denmark. Very, very common It's so in hard Denmark. to get friends when you are a grown up, you know. We have been very lucky because we have YouTube, so we've met so many amazing people, like our best That's friends uh, we've ever had almost, you know. But I don't, I haven't experienced it myself that they don't want to make new friends. I find them to be very open-minded. We have said this about Portuguese people, how hospitable they are and yeah. how they want to get to know you. But I guess this was meant from, I don't know. I know the feeling because it's the same way in Denmark, but I haven't experienced it here. Portuguese people focus a lot on how great the country once were. And I actually love it about the country because in Denmark, we never really talk about how great Danes were. We never talk about the history. We don't really care. It's because but our ancestors raped uh, all the women in uh, Britain. <laughs> Um, and obviously, for those of you who don't really know uh, Portuguese history, it is because that uh, Portugal basically were, was in charge of the entire globe back in the day. When we were here um, the very first time, we, we noted one thing immediately that uh, Portuguese people is super friendly and super helpful. I, I was blown away by how, how helpful they were. Um, and, and I think it's because they have such a passion for their own country, you know, they want like, where is this place or what is the best restaurant to have this food, you know. And or then they would be like, yeah, you would be like, so where is this restaurant? And they would be like, no, no, don't go there, that's a tourist trap, you should go here, it's much better. Turns out they're right, you know, they always, they always really take a pride in helping you. Portugal is top two in the world in roller hockey. And I'm like, are there more than two? teams in the world. I actually <laughs> I actually think that Spain is number one. Yeah, but that's like it's Ouch. a joke. I yeah. mean roller hockey. I, I used to play ice hockey as a child but uh, and so, also roller hockey. I loved it but it's like do people care about it? It's like a hand it's like handball. Everyone loves handball. Everyone, it's a huge there's like five hundred people uh, who cares about it. That's not true. <laughs> Portuguese people they love to swear. That's true. And in more areas of Portugal, more than others. We've seen the best example um, <laughs> at the Porto sporting match. That was uh, almost legendary. Um, and I think we've used that clip many, 15 many times, times, 20 times already. They over dramatize about the weather, which 
That is correct. It's like the weather was so bad yesterday and it was like dripping. I think I, I can or just relate to it. So yeah, I haven't noticed so much, it because so I do thing. the same. I mean, the weather is a big theme in my life and I'm like, this fucking weather here in Madeira, it's like, I, it's supposed to be warm day and night, you know, <laughs> and, and now it's, it, it has been raining for like three days. What's going on? <laughs> So, so, uh, but yeah, I mean, the weather is important when you live in a country where it, you are used to it being nice, you know, the entire summer. So this one is, uh, we know firsthand because we make YouTube videos in Portugal. Uh, either the locals love or hate foreigners. Luckily, most Portuguese people, they love foreigners. Yes. But there are certainly some ones that also hate them. The little group of people that does not like foreign Jews, they really hate foreign Jews. But then there are the rest which are very, very hospitable and yeah. good to watch. It's not really a problem for a foreigner no. at all. No. Uh, but if you make YouTube videos, you should be prepared to get some mean comments sometimes. But I mean, they go right through the ear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, take it with a grain of salt. All ladies in Portugal, they love to skip the line. That's what people say. I have never experienced it, but I feel like all old people in Denmark, they do the same. Do they? They're entitled. They're like, I've never I'm noticed old. that. I'm, no, because they're so tiny and then they come with their basket. They're, and they're, I mean, like they're entitled because they are old and you know, they, they can't stand up for the long. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. what, that's the argument often. So the last three are actually our own. The first one is negative, but then the last two are positive. And we actually mentioned this on national TV when we went to ATP because one of the biggest issues, I think, with Portuguese people is that they don't like to take responsibility. And this has been a huge problem for us every time we have to set up electricity in our home and there is a problem. And every time there is something we need to have done, it's always... Someone you know, else's fault. Yeah, it's like, it was my fault, you know, and then they try to fix it. And then you call up, it's like, when, it's still not fixed. Like, oh, it, 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 it was that other person, you know? Yeah, or you go to a restaurant and you say that your bouchesha is cold and the waiter's like, oh, but that's the chef's fault. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, yeah. but <laughs> take the plate to the chef. But this one is probably the most true of them all. Portuguese people are so much fun to hang out with. Yeah, uh, we have gotten a lot of Portuguese friends here, and... Um... <laughs> okay, they're so much fun. It's uh, good people to hang out with, and um, for, for one main reason, which is the final one, that booze is ingrained in their soul. <laughs> Are you thirsty? Let's have, yeah, 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 let's have some alcohol, of course. <laughs> Do you want an Uber, or should we go on my ride? That's yours, for sure. Yeah, but okay, booze and food. They love to have fun. They love to to, to, to enjoy life. And, and that's they love something... to spoil each other. Like, they love to cook for you, and they love to try what you cook for them. Yeah. And, you know, they love this where we, like, interact on, that, on a deeper level. We love to have fun. Portuguese people love to have fun. And I think that's why we, we live here. Um... Yeah, it's a great country with very great people. Let us know if you agreed or disagreed with the different topics here. And thanks to all you guys who went on our Instagram and participated in this. Yeah, It was a great do... help. There was a lot of things we didn't know. We will do more of these uh, yeah. topics. So uh... go. Follow us. Or follow us, it'll be fun to um, exchange yeah. ideas. Obrigada por ver o vídeo. Até logo. Até logo. And there's nothing I can do for you. If you don't stay classy too.